This video shows you how the Memphis Grizzlies are dominating without their best player. Desmond Bain stepped up as the number one option, Steven Adams is getting the Grizz extra possessions by ranking second among all players in total offensive rebounds, and Triple J Jaron Jackson Jr. continues to produce like a criminally underrated stretch big. Here's how the grit and grind Grizz 2.0 achieved the biggest blowout in NBA history and every reason for how Memphis has made up for the loss of John Morant. Stay tuned to see how dangerous this currently fourth seeded Grizzly squad can ultimately be at full strength. Before continuing, only 15.9% of you watching right now are subscribed, so if you haven't already, please subscribe. Also leave a thumbs up, it takes a few seconds and makes a massive difference. Following their win against the banged up Dallas Mavericks, who are missing Doncic and Porzingis, Memphis has now won four straight games, and the only remaining teams ahead of them in the Western Conference are the Utah Jazz, Phoenix Suns, and Golden State Warriors. They're also the number one seed in the Southwest Division. One of the wins on this current streak came by an insane 73 points which topped the Cavaliers' 68-point margin over the Heat way back in 1992 to set the NBA record for the most lopsided blowout victory in the 75-year history of the NBA. Memphis blitzed the Thunder with a dominant offensive showing in the second quarter as they put up 41 points in the period. Leading the way was DeAnthony Melton, who scored 12 points in that quarter, including a monster poster dunk over a sea of Thunder defenders. Memphis closed the half with a 72-36 lead, as they had a great defensive attack led by Jaron Jackson Jr.'s four-block half and blistering offensive efficiency, 61.7% from the fields and 61.5% from three. The offensive onslaught continued in the second half as Jaron Jackson Jr. hit four three-pointers and Alon Brooks found his groove inside the arc. OKC couldn't do anything offensively either. The Grizzlies put in their Conchar, Culver, Santi, Tilly, Tillman lineup with two and a half minutes left, not in the fourth quarter, but in the third quarter. Meanwhile, the fourth quarter was an absolute vibe. Three-pointers galore, alley-oops, Jarrett Culver going coast to coast, and a John Conchar poster dunk. It was great to watch those end of the bench guys get some run in the final 15 minutes of the game. The Grizzlies just kept adding to their lead, eventually pulling ahead by as many as 78 points. It was the largest lead in any NBA game since 1996-97. The Grizzlies set a franchise record for shooting, making 62.5% from the fields. They were also 52.8% from three-point range. Reserves DeAnthony Melton scored 19 points, Santi Aldama had 18, and John Conchar added 17 for Memphis. Melton said after the game, Man, it feels great. It feels great to be in the history books, especially in front of our home crowd. We did it 1 through 15. Everybody contributed. Coach Taylor Jenkins said, quote, Franchise records are obviously great. Proud of our guys that they don't think about that. We're just motivated by our standards every single night. The tanking Thunder now have the record for the largest road loss and the largest home loss in league history. In May, they were beaten at home by 57 points by the Indiana Pacers. No Memphis starter played more than 21 minutes. The Grizzlies bench contributed 93 points, outscoring Oklahoma City's entire team by 14 points. Lou Dort led OKC with just 15, and Oklahoma City shot only 33%. It was a bit back and forth to start the game, as it was 12-8 after 5 minutes, but from there, there was no stopping Memphis. The Grizzlies outscored the Thunder by 15 points in each of the four quarters. After beating OKC in that historic victory and then taking down the Mavericks, Memphis has now won four straight games in wire-to-wire -wire fashion, meaning with no ties or lead changes. That's the longest streak by any team over the last 25 seasons, according to Eliash Sports. All four wins, of course, have come without job. Moving on to one of the top candidates for the Most Improved Player of the Year award, Memphis guard Desmond Bain, who's been the team's breakout phenom in 2021-22. Bain's got exceptional strength for a backcourt player, which helps him hold his matchup in front of him defensively, 
Desmond's got a quick trigger on his three-point shot, but he's far from simply a spot-up marksman like he's known for. Man has a legit shot-creating repertoire. Bain, who spent four years on the other side of the Dallas-Fort Worth area at TSU, has taken over as the Grizzlies' lead man and fourth-quarter closer, as he dropped 11 points in the final frame in his homecoming game against the Mavs. Bain's extremely nifty maneuvering off-ball screens with the ball in his hands, and he can explode off the bounce and extend for polished layups at the bucket. Of course, the primary area that Desmond thrives offensively is with his deep range shot. Last season, he shot 43% from three-point range, taking four triples per night over 68 outings for the Grizz. So far in 21-22, Bain's volume from distance has increased as he's attempting 6.4 deep range bombs per night, but he's still posting elite efficiency. But the reason he's one of the leaders in the MIP race is based off the fact that he's improved his points per game from 9.2 in his rookie year to 15.3 in his sophomore campaign. Without Morant, the smooth bucket manufacturing of Desmond Bain that you can count on at any time, regardless of how many seconds left are on the shot clock, has made him an absolute godsend for Grizzlies fans. Highlighting the defensive and rebounding beasts that the Grizzlies have on their roster, Jaron Jackson Jr. ranks number four behind Daniel Gafford, Miles Turner, and Mo Bamba in block percentage. Additionally, Steven Adams is second only behind Atlanta's Clint Capella in offensive rebounds per game. We'll start with Triple J, who's a tremendous lockdown defender both on the perimeter and in the paint at the power forward spot, with a rangy 7'4 wingspan and a 9'2 standing reach. Scarily for his matchup, in addition to his build, Jackson Jr.'s guard skills and shooting mechanics make him tough to predict. Defensively, Jaron's activity is tremendous as he ranks number 14 among all players in total deflections. And then there's the newest big man who has acquired this offseason in the Kiwi Steven Adams. To give you a taste of how impactful a screen setter that Steven Adams is, Raptor rookie Scotty Barnes had this to say a full two days after playing the Grizzlies. It's a big man. In their win against the Doncic and Porzingisless Mavs, six different players scored in double figures for Memphis. This Grizzlies roster features a ridiculous 13 players averaging at least four points per game. The majority of teams have 7 to 10 such players at most. From players deep in the depth chart like John Conchar and Jarrett Culver, to steady rotation guys like Zyar Williams, Tyus Jones, Brandon Clark, and Kyle Anderson, this team has a ton of productive role players, which could lead to a ton of regular season success. The top stars offensively for Memphis right now, without Ja, are DeLon Brooks, Desmond Bain, Jaron Jackson Jr., and DeAnthony Melton. So how good can this team be at full strength is the question. John Morant ranks 10th among all players in player efficiency rating, and the Grizz are of course going to need his shot creating once the playoffs hit. But in the last four games without Morant, the Grizzlies' offense is averaging 27.2 assists per game, which would be good enough for third in the NBA, the loss of Morant hasn't necessarily been the case of addition by subtraction, but it has opened up more opportunities for various options and improved the team's ball movement. After a loss in the first round last year without their second best player in Jaron Jackson Jr., the Grizzlies franchise is hungry to go further in 2022, and this recent stretch should help their progression towards, hopefully for the fan base, a long run in this upcoming postseason. For next video shoutout, which seed will the Grizzlies finish in this year and why? The top three commenters with the most shoutouts by the 25th of December are going to receive NBA merchandise in the holiday season, so leave your take on today's question to compete in Community Speaks. Today's Speaks winner is FYI Sin, who says, as a Warriors fan, Dre's help defense is honestly the best in the league, always in the cutting lanes watching the ball, so if this continues, watch him snag the DPOY over guys like Rudy and Giannis. Thanks for every great take. Hope all of you watching have a great one. Wish my Raptors luck tonight. I'll be at the game, but this was D-Flow, and I'll see you next video.